my mission here is to give or deliver few things and uh, discuss something with respect to our uh, web technologies that is our uh, uh, code of uh, CS368, module 4. Uh, and uh, let me start with uh, the introductory part of that particular thing. And uh, in that module 4, it covers with uh, uh, the basics of uh, JavaScript, uh, overview of JavaScript, object orientation, then uh, the syntactic characteristics and primitive operations, then we'll be having screen output and keyboard input. It comprises with arrays, control statements, object creation and modification, functions, JavaScript, uh, HTML DOM, introduction to jQuery. This is the, uh, the total consortium of your uh, uh, module number four of our uh, uh, course. So the entire thing, I don't think uh, it, it may be covered up by today. So anyway, we'll have a fruitful session today, starting with our uh, JavaScript. So, so let me let me introduce our uh, JavaScript by predecessing what all things we learned before. I think in the module model number one, we might have learned about uh, the web architecture, what is the need, the architecture of uh, the, the internet, etc. in our uh, first module, formerly. And in the second module, we might have come, come across with uh, HTML and how to write that particular thing, then DHTML, XHTML, etc., etc. in the second module. And uh, in the third module, we might have given certain styles in that uh, particular web page. So as a nutshell, this particular course is meant for creating how to uh, creation of our uh, web pages statically and uh, dynamically. So we now we are going to uh, give our a certain dynamism for our uh, created page as of uh, as of now. We might have uh, learned something about uh, creation of the static page by using HTML, uh, then XHTML, DHTML, CSS, etc. And uh, let me introduce, introduce, introduce one more thing, one more tool, or one, one more programming language for this particular. So that is not, none other than the JavaScript. So the JavaScript is a, basically a programming language, and uh, it, is, it, is, it is being the name itself, uh, 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 when we are hearing the JavaScript, uh, you may be thinking that uh, this is an uh, object-oriented one, but uh, as far as this JavaScript is concerned, JavaScript is uh, not an object-oriented, fully object-oriented one. It is object-based programming language because uh, we are not at all using any class over here. And uh, as uh, as you all know, some object-oriented concept, uh, object-oriented concepts of uh, class, uh, the constructor, and uh, uh, like what? So those kind of things are not using over here, but uh, we are using objects to create certain instances, but uh, we are not uh, using that uh, class kind of concept over here. And uh, JavaScript, uh, JavaScript and uh, uh, Java are not uh, uh, exactly same, but uh, Certain resemblance are there, but uh, it is not exactly the same. Let us see the what, is, what are all the differences uh, uh, with respect to the Java and the JavaScript in the uh, next step. JavaScript is uh, 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 is uh, weakly typed. That means uh, J uh, JavaScript is something like uh, 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 we, we 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 can typecast or we can uh, figure out uh, various other uh, things by using JavaScript. Uh, when we are typing the Java, Java codes or any other uh, programming uh, like uh, codes of C or C++, it, it requires uh, the exact data type and all. But in the case of our uh, JavaScript, uh, it is not uh, required uh, the exact data type to be typed over there. Somehow the JavaScript by itself, uh, it managed to take uh, which are 
data type it want to uh, uh, use it in the uh, program and those sort of uh, adjustments are possible through this uh, javascript so uh, usually the programmers call javascript as weakly typed client side interpreted language then javascript as we all know uh, it is uh, developed by brendan i for uh, netscape and uh, uh, before it was called as mosha and uh, it has been re renamed as uh, live script and uh, at present uh, it is in the, the present form of uh, javascript as of now and the uh, official standard uh, of this javascript as uh, of uh, european computer manufacturing association script standard it is uh, using it in the javascript and uh, let us see what a javascript do in the web page and how to play with the javascript javascript by using javascript we can dynamically create or dynamically modify the the static pages so that is the one of the the beauty of this particular language we can we can dynamically change the elements the events etc uh which was created statically by the html html5 or uh, uh, given certain styles through that uh, html pages so through javascript uh, it can, the, 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 those kind of uh, data or events can be dynamically changed through this uh, javascript and uh, javascript uh, can be uh, um, uh, uh, used or ja through javascript uh, the reaction of user can be interpreted or it can be um, uh, uh, used to uh, create a certain other events you may be thinking thinking that what is the reaction of the user in the case of our uh, the first module we might have uh, studied uh, the technology the internet technology is also of uh, multi-tier architecture comprises with a multi-tier architecture multi-tier architecture comprises with a so two-tier three-tier entire architecture so there is uh, the, the the basic thing behind this uh, there will be one server another client client is requesting something to the server and server in turn it will be responding to the the client so while it is responding to the Client, the client is getting the correct answer for that and if at all client is getting that answer client want to give certain action or activity for that particular uh, uh, the data answer from the client uh, server it can be done through this uh, javascript a certain uh, uh, kind of a re uh, formation of the, those kind of data that is so called as the, the react to the user input then uh, javascript uh, can be validated it, it is used for uh, validate the data through a, a sta static page and uh, one another important thing through javascript can be done is the creation of cookies and uh, you may be wondering that what exactly the cookies we all know the cookies uh, or what we are uh, uh, getting to eat and all those things like what in the internet also the cookies are there those cookies are nothing but uh, some some brief programs or small programs to store certain data in the web server for consecutive uh, 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 hit of that particular page uh, without having the creation of uh, the, uh, the new connectivity this cookie lead to some sort of uh, 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 some intermittent stored things so that uh, the lengthier process to establish the connectivity between the server and the, the client can be overcome by using this cookie that can be created through this uh, javascript and uh, mainly these cookies are generated or created in our web servers so web servers are considered to be the uh, the, the intermittent uh, uh, server so as to uh, connect it between the server and the uh, client and the javascript is a full featured uh, uh, programming language 
as of uh, as of like uh, our uh, java or c++ or something like that and uh, javascript uh, 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 javascript user interaction does not require any communication with the server because uh, already i told there is a intermittent code of a cookie are creating in between so that uh, through this cookie the interactions can be uh, creating with as i told uh, uh, JavaScript is not exactly similar to the uh, the uh, Java. So let us see what what all what is the basic differences between JavaScript and uh, Java. So JavaScript is uh, mainly used to make web pages, and uh, it is more interactive one. And uh, on the other hand. Java is used for creating wide range of uh, application, especially the, uh, the desktop application, and as well as the network application or system side application, something like that. So basically, Java is basic uh, used for creating the uh, network side application, uh, those kind of connectivity, because uh, Java itself is having uh, multi-tier architecture, and through which uh, it can be very easily create those uh, server side uh, 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 application. So Java, then coming to the JavaScript code is uh, all text. And uh, JavaScript is basically an interpreter. And uh, Java, on the other hand, uh, may be uh, compiled and uh, uh, it form another form of a code, so called as a dot class file after the the compilation, uh, the, 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 it create a dot class file and a dot class file then uh, run through a JVM Java virtual ma ma machine, uh, etc. And uh, in the case of our uh, JavaScript code, it is running in uh, uh, running in the browser only. But in the case of our Java application, run in JVM that is virtual machine. JavaScript is basically an uh, scripting language, and uh, Java is basically a, uh, uh, a purely object-oriented uh, programming language. So here, in this juncture, let me ask one thing: that is, uh, uh, most of you might have uh, uh, learned and know what exactly uh, the Java uh, you might be knowing. Let me ask you one question. What is the, the native browser for uh, Java? Please do answer for that, and uh, uh, maybe you can present it for the, the chat, chat window. And uh, now we need to have, or we, we, we want to have uh, a clear cut idea about why, do you, why we want to study JavaScript. JavaScript is one of the three languages of a uh, uh, web developer must know in this web technology. So the, those two things, the, the first markup language, which we might, we must, we might have uh, learned as uh, HTML, then we, uh, we might have given certain, uh, uh, um, uh, given certain uh, styles through CSS and uh, we do have a JavaScript program, what we are going to learn as now. And uh, uh, it is basically for uh, uh, program the behavior of uh, web pages. So in the, in the case of our uh, web pages, uh, many server programs use this particular uh, JavaScript, like uh, Node.js, then uh, databases like MongoDB and CoachDB, etc. So coming to a, a JavaScript uh, uh, code, JavaScript are written through HTML, HTML uh, program through uh, a script tag. As you all know, uh, we, we do have a script tag in uh, HTML, and uh, through that uh, HTML, we are writing this particular uh, code. And uh, here, uh, you can see one thing. Uh, 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 text 
var javascript what exactly it meant as in the in the previous session of uh, module number 2 we might have learned something about uh, mime so we are introducing the javascript as a text thing text text like thing uh, 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 as i uh, introduced just uh, before and uh, uh, that is why through text uh, uh script tag while we are introducing the javascript uh, we must have to write as a mime and uh, we have to uh, 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 make an output of a hello world hello world program by using a function so called as a document dot uh, write uh, hello world so the basic program of uh, javascript uh, to print uh, the hello world where we are writing or putting the java script so we can we can write the java script program through script tag may be used or maybe the script tag can be placed in the head or body tag in the head script uh, uh, it will be run before page will be displaying because uh, we know about uh, 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 we we know uh, we know uh, what exactly the head tag will do while we are studying our html we must uh, we might have uh, studied what exactly it was uh, happening in the uh, head tag and uh, uh, then in the case of our uh, um, body tag script uh, uh, will be displaying or run in the page so this script can be put anywhere in the head tag or in the body tag so here in this particular program uh, this, this is a, a, a small function function uh, we will be elaborately seeing in the next uh, session only in this session only we are looking into the introductory part so as an elaboration we will be seeing those kind of function in the the forthcoming session so uh, 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 this is a, a small function program uh, uh, for uh, hello world and uh, hello world is a function to write uh, the hello world uh, program which will be written in the uh, in the head tag and uh, it is calling it in the body so in the case of our uh, body body tag in the case of our uh, body tag Uh, the uh, the function which was already written over there will be calling and uh, display so it's a basic program to uh, show this uh, hello world program and uh, also javascript will be having a provision uh, that is we can write the program outside anywhere else and uh, uh, store under the extension of a uh, js and uh, we can call that uh, particular file into this uh, html program so the, the syntactical structure is uh, in the script tag src src is basically source is equal to my script.js uh, for example I, i had given you uh, this particular thing and uh, uh, that my script will be calling it in the the html and uh, it will be functioning for it and this is uh, this can be done through the javascript and as if like any programming language we need, uh, we, we, we need to declare a variable and as well as a constants so constants that means constant programming or constants we will be using through that uh, static program in the case of our java program uh, javascript uh, we need to change or uh, react according to the the user level we need to declare it as a variable so how we can declare those kind of a variable with the key keyword v a r key v a r keyword and uh, variables can be declared v a r my name is equal to wins by default in javascript the things will be uh, declared as uh, strings 
So, uh, um, so there is no specific uh, data type to be given. That is why uh, uh, Java by default it will adjust accordingly. Whatever the data data type it might be, it will adjust accordingly. It will read it, read it, and uh, do it accord, um, do it as such. So this is an example program to declare. Uh, 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 variable. So uh, you can see uh, uh, you can see a variable declared as a global and uh, function check scope that is uh, in order to check the scope of that particular uh, uh, variable in the uh, uh, by using this particular uh, javascript so uh, i declared variable as a global and uh, through a function i am declaring another variable so through a local fun through a through a function what we are uh, or when we are declaring something it will be taking it as a the scope it will be taking it as a uh, uh, local one and when a uh, when a variable declaring outside a particular function it will be taking it as a uh, uh, global global one so here in this case uh, i declared two two uh, variables over over there and uh, one is declared it as a global variable and uh, another one is as a local variable locally to that uh, function here in this case uh, uh, which will which will print in the case of our uh, document dot uh, write dot uh, my variable so being document dot write function has been given inside that particular uh, function the scope of that particular uh, variable given in the uh, given as uh, uh, local so it will be printing the value as uh, local as an out of output of this particular program. Then JavaScript uh, got uh, um, uh, how to name the variables. Certain keywords are not. Uh, entitled to use for this particular variable as a variable name so once if you are giving giving a name to a variable certain uh, regulations or uh, rules to be followed and uh, uh, that rules the exceptional case of that particular uh, uh, names are the keywords cannot be used as the variable name and uh, name should uh, should not start with uh, any numerals example i've given say uh, one two three test it not be uh, uh, it is an invalid one and uh, uh, variable uh, can be started with uh, it might be begin with a, a letter or an underscore so instead of uh, direct uh, numerals or numerical value one two three so if you put an underscore uh, uh, to that particular uh, uh, underscore one two three uh, it, it is a valid one like what uh, the naming convention to be followed in the case of our uh, uh, naming a uh, variable then coming to the operators which might be used in the uh, javascript uh, like what is in all the programming language here in the uh, javascript also following uh, the operators that is uh, arithmetic operators we will be having plus minus uh, uh, multiplication aspects then slash of uh, division then modulo division that is a uh, percentage then we do have an assignment operator assignment operator as mentioned that means uh, equal to plus equal to minus equal to asterisk equal to slash equal to percentage equal to plus plus minus minus so uh, i want to know about uh, uh, how many of you know uh, special operators something like uh, this uh, plus 
equal to minus equal to asterisk is equal to uh, slash equal to percentage equal to what it will do let us see through the examine uh, example then we do have a logical and and or not operator it is there then we do have comparison that means uh, greater than less than less than equal to greater than or equal to uh, uh, then uh, double equal to that is uh, e e equating then now uh, we do have an another operator a plus operator is there generally it is used for concatenating things then we do have the constructs that is if else while for switch and uh, case constructors uh, constructs okay these are all considered to be the uh, the operators and constructs with respect to our java and uh, let us let me introduce uh, the arithmetic operation uh, uh, in our uh, javascript so it's a typical arithmetic operator uh, operation uh, which will be following in our uh, uh, javascript uh, so basically uh, we are declaring variable x is equal to 100 plus uh, 50 so uh, we know that uh, 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 it will be printing uh, uh, the addition of two numbers and uh, before i told you like uh, uh, java scripts are written through html but uh, i started my program with uh, uh, exclamation mark doc doc type html over there in that uh, particular uh, program do anybody having uh, an idea what exactly that particular tag meant of and also i completed or validated this particular program with a dot inner html so what exactly these two are meant in this uh, uh, web programming basically so you might be knowing you, uh, that means uh, when, when we are seeing certain websites or uh, web portal uh, when we uh, right click and uh, get source of that particular thing these kind of things these kind of uh, notations or uh, tags might be uh, uh, showing over there let us discuss uh, so in this program it is pretty clear that uh, uh, addition is happening there is no doubt on that but uh, my my query or uh, my anxiety is uh, what exactly that uh, those two underlined one what what is happening over there and why we are using that particular thing in the uh, in the creation of a web page so basically doc type tag is uh, using or uh, when we use that uh, doc type ta ta uh, tag in a program we are informing the browser about uh, which version of uh, HTML we are, or uh, what type of uh, document type declaration, and uh, it shows uh, 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 the technicality of that particular uh, elements which is using over there. So once uh, that particular thing will be uh, showing over there, or uh, once that particular uh, doc type tag uh, showing over there. Uh, it, it will be showing uh, or it will be indicating uh, what type of uh, uh, HTML, uh, uh, the version of HTML, its technicality, etc. It, it will be overriding with. So, those programs will be running in any browser or any HTML version irrespectively. And as well as inner html is an uh, uh, element property of a uh, uh, javascript uh, in order to set what sort of a markup language it is uh, using over there so after calculation dot inner html of something it is uh, coming over there it is uh, uh, directly uh, grab those particular values and uh, display as a uh, output irrespective of what sort of a markup language so that is the functionality of these two these uh, 
two special elements over there like then uh, uh, as we all know the next arithmetic operation that is subtraction so uh, here also we are declaring and uh, uh, showing it as a uh, arithmetic operation like what is our uh, multiplication probably i i'll be I, i'll be uh, um, uh, sharing all these things so uh, some of you might be asking about uh, why you want to go for this particular elementary things because uh, i am starting with this particular uh, elementary uh, or basic thing first and uh, let us go for the highest uh, higher order the next session then uh, we do have an uh, exponentiation operator and uh, this particular thing uh, is an operator of oper uh, the, the standard operator introduced by uh, uh, our uh, standard ja javascript uh, uh, european uh, computer manufacturing association they introduced this particular exponential operator usually we were uh, using that particular exponential operator by using certain uh, tidal uh, symbol and all those things and uh, uh, here we are uh, uh, using this particular exponential operation uh, operator to have um, uh, the, the power of uh, certain things and uh, in our c or c plus plus we are using the, the header file of our uh, uh, math dot h or something like that and uh, we are uh, ma making use of a power function over there and uh, from that power function we will be doing this particular exponential operation uh, operator but in this particular uh, java script language we are using this particular symbol that is uh, two asterisk symbol for making an exponenti uh, exponentiation and uh, as we all know like what is another uh, programming language we do have operator and uh, uh, definitely uh, we we are having the the precedence of operator here i had uh, given two cases the first case is uh, 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 variable x is equal to uh, 100 plus 50 into 3 so definitely the answer is given as uh, 250 the same thing which i had put in the uh, 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 particular uh, uh, parenthesis and uh, shown and uh, the answer shown as uh, 4, 450 why it had happened as we all know, the maximum of you might be knowing what exactly had happened. And uh, this is the reason uh, uh, because of the uh, precedence, of a, precedence of operator, uh, 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 it might have uh, happened because highest precedence will be uh, for our uh, parenthesis. And uh, uh, that is why the, the, uh, the difference of our values it might have had for this particular uh, operation or uh, that function. Then we do have a, uh, other data types. So uh, we uh, that is uh, JavaScript can hold the data types, the numbers, prints, strings, objects, and uh, uh, many other uh, data types. The first thing is well, I had given is a variable of length is equal to 36 that means it directly directly taken it as uh, that 36 as a number and uh, we are last name is equal to wins call that means uh, it will be taken taking it as a string then variable first name abc last name pqr and uh, this is something like uh, declaring declaring an object for that particular class but we, we are not using any class over here and uh, that abc that means uh, uh, PQR will be taking it as an object for that. Then concept of a database. Then uh, here you can see a data type with a uh, uh, variable x is equal to 16 plus Honda. Uh, Honda is basically a string which will be uh, inserted within a uh, double quote. So by default, I told you any data type or any data will be taken as string. So here in this case, what will happen? Uh, uh, what is the error? Uh, 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 whether when we declare like this, will it produce any error or, or will it uh, accept it? 
to uh, in the case of our uh, Java, uh, uh, this particular thing, the, the, there is another uh, another example also I had given. Variable x is equal to uh, 16, which I put it in the inverted quotes, and uh, Honda is in, also in uh, double quotes. So what will happen? Here there is a uh, uh, there is a twist for you, and uh, you just predict uh, what will happen over here. Variable x is equal to 20 plus 20 plus uh, ABC. And uh, the, the next thing is variable x equal to XYZ plus uh, 20, 20. Then variable x equal to PQR plus uh, 20 plus 20. What will happen? So in this case, I told you, any data by default, it will be taking as string. And uh, uh, in the first case, what it will do is uh, first 20, it will be taking it as a number. Second 20 is also taking it as a number and uh, ABC as a string. So the operation after having the operation, uh, it will be uh, showing it as 40 ABC. And in the case of our uh, uh, second thing, XYZ plus 20, 20, that means uh, XYZ being it as a string at first, after producing that particular XYZ string, whatever it is coming, it will be concatenating to that uh, particular string row. So that particular uh, X, uh, so the second thing, it will be outputting as uh, XYZ 2020. Then uh, uh, variable X equal to PQR plus 20 plus 20, what will happen? It also uh, being the PQR is a string, and uh, producing with that uh, anything which is happening, it will be concatenating it as a string over there. And uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, the operation will be taking it as a concatenation. The, so the output of this particular thing is PQR 2020. 20, it will be. So, so far, we, we discussed uh, certain uh, few facts or introductory facts of our uh, JavaScript. Uh, 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 during last uh, 20 minutes. So uh, uh, we discussed with our uh, uh, HTML, uh, uh, so how to write our uh, uh, JavaScript. And uh, uh, we, we, we discussed with uh, how to uh, make uh, the data exactly. Then uh, how can we um, uh, 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 put the ex external uh, JavaScript program all those kind of things. Then uh, we saw something about uh, the data types and uh, uh, its operation. And uh, uh, I, I um, uh, the next thing is uh, I forgot to tell you one thing. Like uh, uh, so, any any good programmer should have to comment what he is or she is writing it in the. Uh, program. So in this case also, we can also having the provision of a, a single line commanding and uh, multiple uh, commenting over there by using double slash by single line command. And uh, we can have an exclamation followed with a, a double asterisk uh, slash and uh, block commanding, it can be possible too. So here is certain uh, uh, queries so only a few things uh, which I want to know about. Uh, 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 I, I do want to know how far you learned from my uh, ad hoc session. So, uh, Excuse please, me, sir. Yes. Uh, so there is a query from Shafiq Hamid. Okay. Asking about the uh, practical examples for cookies in web technology. Yeah, practical example for the cookie, cookies, that means cookies, cookies basically it stores certain values. So uh, uh, during at the time of our, uh, 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 when we are adhering the data from a client side to a server side, every, every, every time it will be creating certain sessions. So, uh, so every time when it is creating those kind of uh, sessions, that means uh, it is a loss for us in the case of our time. So cookies will store it in the server or it in the native client program itself. 
and for the forthcoming uh, request this cookie will be taken into the control and uh, the time lag between connecting the client to server can be uh, avoided so this cookies basically store certain primitive values in order to uh, connect it with uh, the server from a client for that particular for that particular purpose only the cookies are being generated and uh, cookies can be uh, avoided or tampered by using our uh, javascript program so that is a big ma major advantage of using this uh, javascript uh, cookie am i clear to you? There is one. hello i hope he is clear yeah uh, there is one more question yeah. which has the highest priority for javascript a inside the body b inside the head c outside the html this question is asked by christy vergis sorry uh, i didn't get you uh, properly uh, which has the higher pri highest priority for javascript and he has given few options the first option is inside the body b inside the head c and inside the html so uh, i told you that is uh, inside head that means uh, it will work uh, at first first of all it will be working that particular thing and uh, displaying and uh, inside the body that means uh, uh, it will be uh, that, uh, that means uh, uh, two things which which we can do that is inside uh, head and inside body so body that means uh, everything it will be uh, um, uh, functioning and it will be showing as an output so the uh, we cannot say that it is a priority but uh, as far as, as the head is concerned it will, uh, when it is showing that head head tag uh, uh, the header will be uh, in the case of our uh, heading uh, 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 heading display like uh, it will be displaying its uh, output whereas in the case of our uh, body body that means the, uh, it will be executing inside that particular body and uh, the third level which uh, he might have uh, mentioned is uh, within html i don't know uh, what exactly he, he he meant as html so here the, uh, it is not meant as its priority but its uh, displays okay sir okay, sir yeah. there is one so one more question is there how can we interpret s plus equal to a s plus is equal to a what is another variable for that no he's asking whether if we can interpret it it as yeah, s it, equal uh, to s plus a yeah yeah the, the, that is the, the that is the basic thing s is equal to that is the operator which had uh, uh, which it has been uh, given over the that means s equal to s plus a uh, instead of that s plus uh, equal to a can be substituted with in the uh, javascript Am I clear and so one more question for blocking for block commenting in javascript Okay. person is asking whether he can use slash asterisk sign yeah or yeah they can uh, uh, it can be used elaborate on the same like block the commenting statement in java block command, block command like what is in our uh, uh, java so uh, slash asterisk and uh, block uh, uh, after a block uh, asterisk slash can be given for uh, block uh, blocking that particular uh, uh, code in order to avoid the execution that can be possible in the javascript uh, one more question we have from naveen right. how do we run javascript code in browser so as if like uh, how we are running our html code so in the case of our html code html so how we will be running HTML is basically embedding along with that particular uh, HTML inside that particular client-side program. 
So the client side program is basically an HTML program. So HTML program basically run with the help of our browser with the uh, by dot uh, htm or dot html and uh, through that uh, so once if you are giving it in the the address bar of any browser this program also we working with usually we do have a practice of uh, we are going for uh, 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 apart from the canonical way we are uh, adhering some other uh, uh, kind of a uh, uh, environment to run this particular Java program, uh, JavaScript uh, and uh, HTML program. So uh, at that particular level also, so uh, whatever the environment it might be in that environment, it will be working with. But in the case of our uh, usual usual canonical way, so uh, in the browser, the address bar of the browser will be having. Uh, so we are giving this particular uh, uh, HTML program and it will be working. With Clear. To all the attendees, kindly use the Q&A session so that like your questions will be visible properly. And also, sir, there is one more doubt. Yes. Uh, how can how is like X plus plus and plus plus X works? So, in the case of our uh, 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 JavaScript, uh, elaborately as a like in the case of our uh, uh, C or C++ program, the unary operator plus plus or minus minus will be working in, uh, uh, in the way of uh, X plus plus uh, like only. So we, we, can, on, we, we can only uh, the provision to write that particular program X is equal to X plus one. Being, it is not uh, compiling anywhere, storing anywhere, we uh, it is a text like program running along with the browser correct hello uh, hello sir and one more question we have advantages of placing javascript in an external file so, uh, 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 it is something like uh, uh, when we are uh, when uh, the uh, we are writing this javascript file in an external uh, file and storing it as a dot js that means we are uh, minuting or uh, we are integrating a very lengthy program into series of programs and we are uh, calling back to the, the main program so basically uh, uh, a good programmer like you people uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to break your programs into tiny parts, small, small one, and uh, uh, at last you just uh, call back to the main, and uh, that is a, a good way of a program uh, wherein we can we, we will be identifying or uh, we can see is there any error or uh, some sort of uh, things flaws are coming for that particular thing, and uh, so that we can we can do that particular thing. And uh, another uh, uh, question I got is uh, dot uh, uh, that is exclamation dot type uh, is it necessary? That is, it is not uh, necessary everywhere. Uh, you can directly use that particular uh, 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 script tag along with uh, mime. Here in this case, uh, I, I, I wanted to use that uh, mime, uh, so uh, that text will be directly mentioning. You can you can use by you avoiding the uh, exclamation dog type uh, HTML it can be possible but when we are using you have to we have to make use of a uh, mime in the program like a uh, text bar HTML something like that uh, so we have like last five more minutes for the conclusion of the session so you can conclude the session yes, and also yes. the questions will be sent to you so that like you can answer yeah. You, even uh, uh, any queries with regards to this, I had given my mail ID over there in the bottom of the quiz part. You can uh, you can utilize and you can uh, interact with me anytime. So uh, I'll be ready to help you out in the all all respect of, with respect to the with technology. Okay.
so uh, if you if you fi feel or if you do have any other doubts other than this with respect to the uh, uh, web technology course you can interact with me with this mail mail id shall i shall i continue with hello sure sir sure sir you can continue okay so uh in this case uh well, now we are um looking certain uh, uh spring kind of thing uh when we are using this particular uh, spring data type we are uh making a code uh, or uh, 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 that means uh, we are putting those strings inside a double quote and uh, in any other programming language can can, can it be possible uh, a, a single quote within the double quote something like that so that provision is there in the case of our uh, uh, javascript program and uh, it is um, uh, even if you are putting a single quote or a double quote by default the javascript will understand it as a so even even if you are putting an another code in between it also recognize it as a string and it will be displaying that is a that is a time about program tail which has given you over there and it will be printing as such even if you are doing this particular thing so strings is written within a code and it can be uh, it is enclosed either in a single code or a double code or it can be used uh, and single quote within the double quote it can be it can also taken into the consideration and uh, coming to another uh, data type uh, the number and uh, boolean so uh, the number can be uh, designated in uh, either in the decimal form or without a decimal form as it has uh, mentioned over here and uh, the exponentiation is also uh, uh, being so if uh, the precision is going lot so at that time we can use we will be using like uh, 10 to the power of something like that so that is considered considered to be the the exponentiation and uh, that exponentiation thing can be possible over there in this uh, javascript and uh, another data type what we are having is uh, boolean and uh, boolean return either true or false so as like uh, uh, i mentioned variable x equal to 5 y is equal to 5 then x equal to equal to uh, y is equal to as uh, a true basically so it is uh, returning true something like that so uh, that is the data type and uh, uh, through javascript the user interaction that means uh, from the web page it is directly interacting to the user or to the client at the client side itself by using three major function uh, so called as a, there is an alert function there is a confirm function there is a prompt function by using these uh, uh, functions it will be uh, popping out uh, certain boxes like and that Uh, alert box or confirm box or prompt box will be prompting us or confirming our activity or it will be alerting something uh, uh, something went wrong or something like that or uh, uh, your action has confirmed that kind of uh, operation or prompting something like that it is possible through this uh, uh, user interaction boxes and uh, this is a tail of program for that and uh, Uh, on click event of a function of a button uh, uh, there is an alert uh, uh, alert function it will be alerting uh, uh, through a box by a messaging or something like that and uh, it will be displaying like this and uh, uh, another is a confirming thing so after performing certain action that action is through so through a, a confirm button we can confirm that 
these and all are the activities which will be carried by the user or the client in order to fix the program so like uh, uh, this is the output of that particular uh, uh, confirm thing then uh, 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 it is used for prompting some certain thing if you are right it is prompted as uh, something like something like that and uh, uh, it is showing uh, this particular uh, message to us and these are all the three major input uh, method this interaction method through the java script will be performed and uh, uh, deepthi yes sir so am i running out of time or uh, is it the time to conclude uh it's already 115 sir but it's okay you can continue like for five more minutes yeah so uh, like what is in all other programming language we do have arrays and uh, javascript also um, uh, do have the arrays as a data type over there and uh, here i made certain uh, names of cars uh, car 1 as ford car 2 as volvo and car 2 as bmw and uh, uh, if i want to put all these uh, variables into a single thing i can make use of uh, this particular uh, arrays with the with the name uh, with a single name i can uh, i can use these uh, entities in my program so uh, here is a, a, a program for that uh, 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 through colors as a variable name i mentioned uh, certain uh, colors so uh, and it is designated through its correct indexing pattern color 0 is red color 1 is green color 2 is blue color 3 because uh, in the memory is the uh, indexing part start from uh, the zero position and uh, consecutively it will be going with a single or it will be uh, checking with a single name and uh, that is uh, shown over there and uh, that is the same part and uh, uh, through programmatically uh, i didn't mention anything related to our uh, uh, so called as control statements today like uh, if while for etc even though i use this uh, for loop over here in order to make a certain indexing or uh, indexing that particular uh, color over there like that. so uh, that is mentioned over there and uh, this is another program for uh, uh, arrays and uh, what i made is here in this case uh, uh, you can you can see uh, uh, variable cars uh, i mentioned and put all those things in an array and uh, uh, as far as uh, this particular uh, 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 declaration is concerned, car zero, car zero is S A B S A A B. But uh, I made an assignment, car zero is equal to Opel over here. So while printing this particular uh, program over here, the output will look like uh, 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 Opel, Volvo, and uh, BMW by uh, discarding because I made a, uh, uh, an assignment of uh, um, uh, that is car zero as uh, Opel. So while it is printing, it will be overriding uh, that S A A B into Opel. So uh, this is a part. Of, this is a kind of a indexing kind of a, uh, operation. What is happening in the array? And this is the second part of our uh, 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 our uh, uh, discussion uh, quiz. And uh, uh, you just uh, note it down all these uh, question I have and uh, give me the response through this uh, uh, mail ID. So so far we were discussing with respect to the introductory part of our uh, H, uh, uh, JavaScript. That is module four. It is showing uh, various other uh, things. 
basics of uh, javascript overview of uh, javascript we already discussed and uh, objects how to create that uh, object then uh, uh, a general syntactic characteristics and uh, primitive operations uh, as we as we discussed in our uh, addition subtraction and all those kind of uh, uh, primitive operations like uh, 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 symbols then uh, screen out and keyboard input is something like a user interaction program by using that as a uh, uh, various boxes that means uh, we discussed and the arrays uh, we saw and uh, with respect to the the, uh, the modular description we were started with that uh, uh, all these things and uh, as of now uh, during an ad hoc discussion we might have able to complete the till arrays so uh, the pending as uh, control statements we'll be having object creation and modification that is not uh, completed then functions then uh, document objects uh, model and the introduction of the jquery it's the second part of this particular thing and uh, if time, time allows we will be continuing this uh, the, this uh, model number 4 again in the next session thank you for giving me an opportunity to discuss the, the initial stages or stages of our uh, JavaScript uh, with a shared sharing with